Okay, we are back. We are back. So today I'm actually going to do three videos, I believe. Uh, and then that's kind of it. I mean, project launches are kind of slow. Uh, cryptocurrencies are kind of like doing like meh. I mean, it's doing better than before, so that's good. But they're still pretty, pretty far off the lows. Looks like bond yields are going back up, but pretty slowly. <coughs> Elon Musk is offering to buy Twitter for $43 billion so it can be transformed into a private company. Holy shit. This is actually breaking news. Uh, okay. Okay. I actually didn't realize this is actually a huge thing. I have to actually... I have to actually... Holy crap. Uh, I barely woke up and Elon Musk is offering a total buyout of Twitter. 53 billion. Or 54. Something like that. Holy shit. This TV has to have... Oh my god. This has to already be... Uh, so then you're trying to priority business thrive again. Many on Twitter used to say it's a priority that you are right. You know, now seems to be taking that to the next level. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> it's genocide. Yeah, God. How do I, believe it or not, I don't want to hear anything about from, from fucking Trump. You're going to hear a lot more of him in 23 and 24 when he runs for president. I mean, yeah, I'll still vote for him, but I'm not going to be happy about it at all. Uh, okay, Elon Musk has offered to... Uh, let me think. Uh, I don't know. I don't really... See, I'm in the middle of doing a video, so I just don't have anything witty to say. This is why the government... We need to... write something like this all right so this is actually a pretty big deal believe it or not like the globalists and tribals really do not want free speech so elon musk going against the grain here uh could be very good for us because what it'll do is it'll weaken the power of the american regime and ultimately the central banks and all these evil corporations that actually are the ones that actually run the world and then we can actually use some of that power especially me and we'll leverage it to, you know, fight back against, you know, the F-words. You know, the pieces of shit like, say, Michael Saylor, who uh, said, oh, non-Bitcoin coins should be considered, you know, basically proof-of-stake coins, which is basically all non-Bitcoin coins, should be considered securities. Like, fucking, like these, like, ugh, I fucking hate these super predators so much. So this is actually a really good thing. I'm going to, like, this is a really good thing. Um... But it's 9 26 a.m. I'm so backed up on work. I actually have to catch up on a lot of content. And I just now find out that Elon Musk is doing a hostile takeover of, of Twitter. In fact, let's find out. Twitter stock. What's the price right now of Twitter? Uh, it's actually 46 bucks. So, so if I had to guess, what will probably happen is they're going to say no. Uh, because he's going to get... Because the people who actually run Twitter... They're, 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 they're now basically agents of the U.S. government, the ADL, the SPLC, and really foreign powers as well. They're all going to tell them, go fuck yourself. You better say no. We'll deal with Elon Musk. So that's probably what's going to happen. So, uh, And then the SEC will get involved, right? Because they have to figure out a way to screw over Elon Musk. But Elon's not really doing anything illegal, right? And on top of that, Elon correctly has been calling out the SEC as a fraud, essentially, which is true. Right? The SEC doesn't do anything except suppress people from getting rich, right? Under the guise of we're gonna help you get, uh, we're gonna help the investor protect themselves. It's just bullshit. Because why doesn't the SEC go after J.P. Morgan, all these assholes on Wall Street who manipulate cryptocurrencies, right? You know, Bitcoin again should be a hundred thousand, a hundred twenty thousand, and because we don't have free speech, we can't fucking do anything about it. So this is this is just incredible. So anyway. 
Uh, I have to have to find out more about this because I have to read these articles. But obviously, we're in the middle of doing a video, so. Uh, but this is very good. This is actually very very good. You know, I'm I'm glad that some of the people that I do regularly read, like Andre Wang and them, like you know, as much as I like and respect them, I do don't I don't always agree with them, and this is one of the reasons why. You know, because he's been pretty hard on Elon and had no faith. I did, all right, because I can see things that he, even he doesn't, which is why I eventually kind of want to do have a have a discussion with them on the Beardson show sometime, but uh, especially now that Destiny is on Cozy, so I don't know, I, I'm going to wait until he starts streaming on Cozy, and then I want to see what happens about just a few streams just to see what happens, so eh, do a wait and see attitude, you know, in the meantime, I'll keep growing the channel. I have noticed the last three videos, the Lucky Cat stuff, really didn't do that well. I mean, it doesn't have a lot of views, but I think it makes sense because, I mean, it's Lucky Cat. You're already, you're already investing in the other ones, so why would you do the others? Especially the Avax one, I mean. Uh, why, would, why would you do that one? And yeah, Ruby Mine is doing really well, too. So, so, uh, so yeah. So that's the Elon Musk thing. That was actually some Sutton content that I, breaking news, essentially. Uh, with that being said, I do have to update. Uh, I did remove Lucky Cat Phantom from the playlist because now it's down to like twenty three point five thousand Phantom. So I don't. I, I think I. Th I don't know why. Why this is, but for some reason the Phantom Lucky Cat just keeps losing money. And it's only a few days old, so I don't even understand how it's draining so fast. So you know, I'm gonna try to get most of my Phantom back from it. So it's eight percent daily. I already did a little compounding, so ten. So it takes twelve and a half days. So it'll probably just take me. And I've already been drawing profit, so it'll probably take another eleven days. I don't know if Phantom Lucky Cat's gonna be around by then, but we'll you know we'll 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 see. So yeah. So anyway, here is a project that was suggested by Halogenics a while ago in the Elite Discord. So I don't actually know how well this is actually doing in terms of the contract size. It's obviously a lot smaller than RubyMine. So basically, this is just a copy and paste of RubyMine. Uh, it's got an okay amount of money. So whatever this, term, how much is AVAX right now? Oh, you're going to make me do math. Yeah, $80.50. Uh, I don't know, this is probably worth about $100,000, so that's actually pretty good. It doesn't look like a lot of AVAX, especially compared to this one, right, RubyMine. It's doing so well. This thing always just... God. Wait, this is the this is the AVAX network. Why didn't it ask me to switch to this already? So this thing just keeps going up. I think when I did the video on RubyMine, I think this, this content was definitely a lot smaller, but now it's way bigger. Right? And more important, they're actually receiving money from these ads, which they can use to do whatever. So, yeah, you see, they're, they're really growing themselves. 15,000 AVAX staked after just four days, April 11th. If you're still not in, yeah. See, so four days ago, it was at 15K. Now it's at 20. All right, it's actually above 20. It's pushing 21,000. So it's doing really, really well. So, anyway, this is just a copy-paste of Baked Beans and probably specifically RubyMine, because it looks just like RubyMine. And they also just bump those diamonds. So I still think this would probably be sustainable, but they just have to work on the marketing. Uh, I mean, but if you're already in Ruby Mine, you probably don't really need to do this one. However, it does take less money in fees. So they do a 6%. I don't know why they call it deposit fee. And I don't know if they take 6% when you deposit. But the, the withdrawal fee, as it says here, is actually 6%. It's hard to say, even when I highlight it, it's really hard to see. I'll have to pause this video. But it says 6% fees on invest and, oh, so it is, oh, okay. So they do take 6% when you deposit, okay. Yeah, on invest and sale of diamonds, okay. So yeah, so you put in, let's say you put in 100 AVAX. That's way too much, but I want simple math. You're, you're actually getting only 94 AVAX worth of, you know, diamonds. Because I guess the project keeps 6%. So it's basically a 6% buy tax and a 6% sell tax. That's how you can think of it, which is not that bad. And in the meantime, you're growing at a rate of 8% a day. So that does help keep this project pretty sustainable, right? But again, you know, it is a little low. It's still much better than like Phantom Lucky Cat and a lot of other projects. So it's probably still pretty healthy. They obviously have to do more marketing because it's obviously the guy just threw something up there. He's making his money and then he just doesn't really care. You know, he does a he does a little bit of whatever here. 
Um, you know, he's paid some YouTubers too, right? I mean, I should be up here too, but you know, whatever. I don't, I, I don't take money usually for videos. I do this for free, all right. But it would be nice if I could get money for what I do, right? You know, beyond just the Google monetization, which isn't really that much. Look, even in Uganda, Elon Musk is actually trending. That is insane. That's how that's how fucking big this thing is. That's how big it is. That's how big it is. Uh, okay. They launched so Diamond Mine launched three days ago, so they're very old. They're very new. Uh okay. Yeah, he really needs to put a tweet out there that says, Hey, you know, we were very young and we just uh have this XYZ amount of TVL, so Anyway, check out Diamond Mind. Um, yeah, I want to try to pump out these videos real quick so I can get back to keeping up with the news because this is just huge. Like, things are changing, right? See, this is, I mean, this is another reason why I just don't care that much about Donald Trump anymore, right? Because he, he just likes to just, he just says stuff and he doesn't really do anything, right? And on top of that, he still has a lack of empathy and creativity problem, right? Which is very problematic, right? Elon Musk is the opposite. So you know what? I'm going to Elon Musk. Oh, on top of that, Trump doesn't like technology. How can you not like technology? Like, it's just so fucking frustrating. It's just so frustrating. It's like, I totally understand why people don't like conservatives and they just side with liberals and Democrats in general, even if they may not like them. It's like, uh, I don't know if there's any, uh, there probably is. There's always hope for my side, you know, the right wing, but man, it's kind of, it's like, like, <laughs> Like, it's going to require so much work and effort, man. Jeez. Yeah. Whatever, man. That's just how it goes. You know, there's a reason why God puts everybody the uh, on this planet and they kind of, like, work off of each other or feed off of each other specifically. That's because people just don't do what is necessary. They don't listen to anybody. They don't listen to the left if they're right wing, and they don't listen to the right if they're left wing. And then they wonder why everything's so screwed up. And it's just, like, frustrating. It doesn't have to be that way at all. You know, I'm living proof of that. Uh, and you're living proof of that, I should say. Yeah, we've actually been growing pretty well. Oh, yeah. So thank you to everybody that's uh, new, that's been joining. Welcome, welcome. So, but yeah, anyway, uh, before I start rambling, we've got two more projects. What's the next one? I probably will do hybrid finance. You know, we haven't done a Titano fork in a while. And then after that will be Bay Finance, which is a tomb fork. And then after that, my content queue is actually uh, clear. Because right now, no one wants to do anything, right? Because the two projects that, I was, that I'm waiting on are just not launching yet. They're delaying it. And again, to be honest, I mean, Sphere is really just taking everyone's money, right? Like, and then cryptocurrencies overall are kind of down. Then you have these minor projects. Um, and that's the thing, too. I, I need to see some suggestions from YouTube, because right now I'm not seeing it, so... Hey, I guess that works for me. I'll have a few days off, right? And then we're just going to have to go on the XYZ site and just pick like a random shit project, right? Just to cover. Just just for the point, just for the sake of having, you know, content. I, may, I might even have to go back and do, redo some videos like a, Don, like a D-Gen Finance Revisited project. All right, that's how, that's how desperate we are for content. I mean, they're actually doing okay. Uh yeah, I guess we could do D-Gen Finance. I mean, that did pretty well. And I, I, I recently had someone ask me about Grape Finance, so it might be time to maybe go back and look at some projects here. So anyway, there's a buy tax when you deposit of 6% and a sell tax when you claim of 6%. So that's how you can think of it. And that probably means Ruby Mines the same way. They take 8% when you put in, and they take out 8% when you put out. And of course, oh, I forgot to mention this. Like Ruby, uh, Ruby mine. This according to this white paper, they supposedly have a function where when, every time you claim, your daily APR goes down. So you're supposed to compound six times a week and withdraw once a week. So let me close that. So this should actually be sustainable. It should definitely be more sustainable than Phantom Lucky Cat, all right. But again, it depends on the whole marketing uh, thing. So you know, we'll, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Uh, in fact, you know what? Um, let me see. I haven't actually done this. ENB minor. Uh, great. I'm going to get all these other fucking whatevers. Yeah, I'm getting all these irrelevant. Uh, how about... How about baked beans? 
There we go. I will fork baked beans platform 500 bucks. He has no reviews though. Uh, I'm getting f these stupid results for food. This is the only guy that can do this. He is from Serbia. Uh, I will build or fork a DAO platform. I'll build NFT minting, uh, pre sale. I mean, <clears throat> I don't even see. There's the thing, this guy's completely new, so I wouldn't even know if this guy's legit. All right, uh, okay, so for five, see, it's even pretty cheap, right? So it's 500 bucks. I mean, yeah, it's it. Look, look this isn't hard for someone to cop the fork. Uh, he has no, he has no thing here. Okay, so he's showing Lucky Cat, he's doing Baked Beans, and he's doing Spooked Beans. Oh, shit. Well, now I know why God told me to do this. Spooked Beans. Um, now I have to figure out, how do I find this shit? Well, it's just called Spooked Beans. Spookedbeans.com. One day ago. Spooked Beans is blowing up. 700. Okay. So Woo! This is probably... Oh, great. Can I have a... Can I have, a, like, a YouTube channel that, the like... projects? Can show me that you're a legit channel? Okay, so this looks like a legit... Uh, YouTube channel. This is a referral. All right, I'll give it to him. I mean, I'm not even gonna do anything with this here. Okay, we're gonna cover this project next. Wrong network. Right. Also, they have a much better looking website. Uh, Phantom. Eight hundred eight thousand. Yeah, this. Yeah, they have a developer fee of two percent. Uh. Go to rug share the free rug souls. I don't know what this is. Uh, Respook six days a week and harvest one day a week. The share has been telling put a matter of the share. Please no, you cannot say only withdraw earnings. See that's the thing. <clears throat> I've been withdrawing uh I've been doing fifty fifty every day. So I don't know if I don't know if this thing actually works. Reward can be ran with John Daly. To ensure max reward, they probably are going to the following strategy. I don't know. I guess this thing does have that function. Okay. All right. Well, we're definitely going to go into this project next. So anyway, check. <laughs> All right. So check. So for 500 bucks, I could create my own little shit project like this. All right. So anyway, check out Diamond Mine. Um, Diamond Mine Money. All right, if you're interested in doing AVAX, we're definitely going to cover Spook Bing for sure. So, uh, yeah. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Like, subscribe, share the channel, blah, 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 blah.